Hello and welcome to a Nation of Expert Gaming videos. Today we have got Inform Sessegnon, so a decent uh, in, uh, Inform from this week's. Um, I am going to be doing O'Shea and Carrick in the same Inform kind of review, so I'll be looking out for them later. So as you can tell, he was in a centre forward, Benin, Sunderland, BPL, five foot six, quite a small player, and is about 90k. Um, to be honest, he was really small. I wasn't expecting him to be that. Moving on to his stats, good and quickly. Uh, as you can see now, Sessing your 95 balance, 91 dribbling, 89 agility, 88 acceleration, 88 reactions, weak foot 5 and skill moves 4. There's some beastly stats there and I have kind of colour coordinated the uh, skills into kind of um, what he actually has. So I thought that was a pretty cool idea. Um, so I'm going to be doing that from now on. Um, really good player, 5 foot 6 maybe, could be a bit higher but... He uh, does his job. I'd prefer him in maybe a striker role, but I never really bothered to change his um, kind of formation. So as you can see here, we have got uh, De Gea in net. We've got Evra left back, Smalling centre back. We have got O'Shea in form centre back. We have got Raphael right back. Um, in the Kudums, we have Inform uh, Cleverly and Inform Carrick from the uh, two uh, in uh, two Informs from last week. Inform Sessegnon in centre forward. Then we have Kigawa and I believe that's uh, Fraser Campbell in centre attacker mid and Xavi Hernandez it in the uh, striking role. I wanted to kind of get a mixture of Sunderland and um, Manchester United because I'm obviously doing kind of like a little hybrid there. So I did wanted to put a bit more Sunderland, Sunderland in there, but I didn't really. I couldn't afford to have another slow centre back, and uh, the left and right backs weren't amazing. So I kind of did what I did best, and really. It worked quite well with uh, how it was, so um, expect the Carrick and O'Shea informs to be exactly the same as this, pretty much, um, as they will be in the kind of same clips. So apart from that, let's get into the clips for Sessegnon. So here we go. So Sessegnon did manage to uh, get seven goals in five matches for a centre forward. Um, that's pretty good. You look at this, uh, gets the ball back there, comes back across, and it's that in. He's got incredible power. Um, for a, such a short man, he's actually smaller than me, which is quite uh, unbelievable for the power that he's got behind his legs. Um, obviously, he is a footballer, so I'm sure his power between his legs, uh, but the but <laughs> not the power between his legs. That's a bit a uh, bit off topic, but uh, the power between his kind of like his uh, two um, legs, like left and right uh, leg, kind of hamstring, gastrocnemius, all that kind of stuff, is absolutely incredible on this game. He fires them in. To be honest, like I said, just. I think, to be honest, I think really he should be a striker if you want to get him. Um, centre forward does work well for him. He's got four star skills, which makes him a, an absolute beast. His left foot is still really good. Um, he gets a lot of power, and he's really good at passing. To be honest, he's uh, one of them ones that really can do a lot um, in the centre forward role. You see here, he goes to try and take it. The guy thinks, and then he cuts it back in. And a little finesse there. He just he is a great, great, great centre forward. Um, one of the best centre for uh, one of the best informs that I've used today. Um, I haven't really used many uh, informs to be honest. So um, informs will kind of get new to me as I kind of do more reviews on them. I'm trying to do as many as I can. And as you can see, if uh, I do change from Manu to Sunderland kit, that is purely for the hybrid. You see there, that's the keeper's not going to save something like that. He has got some absolutely beautiful goals in his uh, kind of highlight reel for this episode. And um, we have got Carrick and O'Shea coming up soon. I'm going to be doing theirs uh, pretty much straight after this. So hopefully we can get them up straight away. We've already had Pinilla. Uh, Muriel and now we've had Sessegnon. Hopefully I'll probably put Carrick's up first as O'Shea is one of the lower players So um, yeah, also I've got another I've got Handanovic coming I've already got him in my uh, in one of my teams So hopefully you'll uh, look forward to that as well uh, Different different kind of game to be honest. I've got a centre-back coming I've got a centre mid and a striker uh, and a goalkeeper. Sorry, so I've had two strikers um, a centre forward that is kind of like a striker so the game clips are gonna be a bit different um, But yeah, hopefully we'll get them in so overall Sessegnon is an absolute tank. I really enjoyed playing with him and uh, he he would definitely be, if he dropped down to about 50, 60k, he would be in my uh, BPL team in a, in, in a striker role, to be honest. I'd put him up pairing with maybe one of the OP strikers like Morales, um, Kone, all them kind of people. You see here, battles through every person. His strength is absolutely unbelievable. His speed, his power. Look at this. It's from a goal, uh, from a... A goal, what's it called? Uh, uh, kickoff, sorry. And he scores. It's it's unbelievable. So going in, going into his overall rating, as you can tell, just about now, I have given him a 
and his uh, power is obviously one of his strengths, his shot power. Strength is unbelievable. Speed acts to that. So three combinations, just like Muriel's kind of uh, stats, beautiful. Um, the only thing that I've got to really criticize is his smallness. Um, sometimes he can be overpowered a little bit. Um, obviously, heading would come underneath the smallness. But um, if he gets his head on it, to be honest, he's not got a bad shot. But um, I really think that's the only weakness that I can give him. And really, it's just to kind of narrow it down because he's only got a 9.5. Um, I, I could have given him, I could have given him higher, but to be honest, I don't think he's kind of like a Messi Ronaldo standard. But he definitely is up there with one of the top players that I've used so far. Um, and I got to admit, I'd give it to him. Um, his smallness really is his only weakness. I was only trying to pick a criticism as he is not a rated 10, so he's obviously got to have a weakness. And really, that's all I could pick out. Um, really, that that is. All of, I think centre forward is hard to kind of pre uh, predict, but um, to like predict how they're going to be. But I thought it was absolutely amazing. So there you go, 9.5. Um, hopefully you enjoy the video. Hopefully you'll come back for more player reviews if you do enjoy them. Um, and also if you want to kind of like uh, comment who you'd like to see next in the kind of player reviews, comment down below. Hopefully you enjoy the video. I'll see you again next time. Remember to give a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you again for the next player review, or for the next video that I do, because I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be doing some every single day, so I'll see you again next time, hopefully enjoy the video, and I'll see you again next time, bye-bye.